How's it going, everyone? In this episode, I want to do something a little different and talk about one of my favorite operators, the one that you uh, see me using pretty much every single video, and that is Twitch. In my opinion, uh, Twitch is one of the most universal operators, and I believe she's the best as a semi-rush, a complete rush, or even a support player, depending on what your team's loadout is. In this video, I want to go over how to properly use Twitch's drones to her full advantage, as well as go over what else she has available in her arsenal. This is going to be kind of a long video, so bear with me, and I promise by the end of it, you'll be be one hell of a Twitch operator. Twitch's shock drone can be one of her most valuable assets, but only when used correctly. If not, she may just end up being a burden to her team. The preparation phase is one of the most critical times for Twitch's shock drone to be used properly. Rushing to find the objective straight away may not always be the best or most wise strategy. Instead, use that time and your map knowledge to go around taking out as many cameras as you can before the round actually starts. If you find yourself close to the objective and nowhere really to run, it's best to take cover and make sure that your drone makes it out of the way of any operator trying to take you out. Whereas other drones may be expendable, yours plays a big role in how your team may push the objective. In this clip, you'll see that I am cautiously moving towards the objective, keeping on the lookout for anyone that might spot me. As I advance, I try to be as much of a nuisance as I can to anyone in my vicinity because where your drone sets you apart from the others is that you can actually hurt people. I personally believe that it's this tactic that makes Twitch one of the best operators in the game. All it takes is for one of her shots to land on an operator for it to count as an assist towards any one of the other teammates' kills. That's an extra 75 points for not even being in the battle. As you'll see in the rest of the clip, I managed to sneak away with one kill, but I also managed to get three assists for my shock drone alone. Remember to be as much of a pain in the ass to the enemy team as you possibly can the closer your team gets. Every time you land a shot, it's going to distract your enemy that much longer for your team to secure the kill. And remember to always call out your enemies, as it could save your teammates' lives, or better yet, net you another 75 easy points. He went down garage. Hey, uh, B is clear. B is open. B is open. Go. If you are dedicated enough and put enough taser charges down range, you might just land that one final killing blow. And oh man, is it sweet seeing that on the kill cam. It's best to develop a route for every map for how you proceed to take out the cameras. The more you stick to a routine, the faster you'll get at taking them out. Your team cannot see the drone from the preparation phase or in the action phase, so it's good to keep your team informed of what you may see. As you move about the map, make sure you take into account any cap can traps, C4, or any Jaeger's anti-grenade devices. Take them out discreetly as not to alert the enemy to your drone's presence. If an enemy does see you and you can't escape, make yourself as tough a target as you possibly can. Never go in straight lines, and be erratic as possible by going back and forth and side to side. And as soon as you hear them reload, make a run for it. Live to fight another day. The only real weapon of choice in my opinion is the F2, or the FAMAS. It's got one of the highest fire rates out of any of the assault rifles in the attacking classes, making it just that much easier to land those headshots. The next weapon in Twitch's arsenal is the 417, a weapon similar to that of Blackbeard's. And although I don't have a whole lot of experience with it, I do know that it's an excellent ranged weapon from long distances, but for my type of playstyle, it doesn't fit me very well. Next is the shotgun, which honestly I shouldn't even mention because compared to the other shotguns in the attacking arsenal, it isn't even that good or highly rated and you're much better off going with the F2 or the 417. Next is the pistols, which I feel is a much more personal preference. I myself like having a silencer on mine and a little faster fire rate, making it a little easier to take out cameras, versus the lower capacity and lower fire rate of the 357 Magnum. Moving on to finally the gadget, for my type of play style of mostly rushing, I like to take with me breach charges, as to charge as quickly as I possibly can to where I need to go. And for those that like to play more on the defensive side, there are claymores, which ultimately I believe both are equal in their own right. As far as attachments go, I believe optics is really up to the user preference, which is where I like to have a wide view of what's going on around me, with the holographic sight compared to what a lot of people like to have with that fine precision that comes with the ACOG. But must haves for the F2 are the front grip, which lowers the overall recoil greatly, as well as the muzzle brake, which gives better first shot accuracy compared to the rest of the attachments. Moving on to the 417, when I have this weapon equipped, meaning I'm also going to be sitting back a lot more than usual, I like to have claymores equipped on this class as well. Also like having the ACOG scope for better precision at longer ranges, since it goes nicely with the 417. 
and since it's a semi-automatic weapon, the muzzle brake, which gives the best overall recoil compensation per shot accuracy, is the best option for this weapon, as well as vertical grip. And now that's it for the weapons, let's move on to tactics. When going over tactics, it's good to keep in mind my playstyle versus yours. I enjoy rushing and taking my enemies by surprise, whereas you might not like to do so and sit back and take your time. Both of which is okay, but I want to show you both sides. As you see in this clip, I use my drone to scout ahead and to take out as many cameras as possible. Then from there, I try to shoot as many attackers as I possibly can, at least once, and then go on to surveying the attack area. Since I was informed by my teammates that there's probably only one, maybe two guys in the objective room, I made a conscious choice that it would be a better time than any to rush the objective and try to take them by surprise. This tactic works very well with Twitch, especially when using the F2. With such a high fire rate, you can usually land a headshot upon entering the window, then thereafter sending accurate rounds downrange to any other defenders in the room. Going for a window breach is usually the best option when rushing an objective, as swinging through the window as it blows will catch the enemy by surprise more often than not, and will give you a split second more time to react to who may be in the room. Once you're on the objective and secured who is currently in the room, it's time to go on the defensive, which is usually extremely easy when they have choke points, often for teams trying to funnel the attackers through one or two areas, and you can use that to your advantage to funnel defenders through as well. And for my final clip of the day, I have what I like to call a semi-rush. That's where I gathered enough intel on my drone and disabled enough of their gadgets to confidently rush with my team to a point where we can enter together and dismantle anyone that's inside. It's at this point where Twitch's medium armor and medium speed come in handy compared to a lot of other operators you would expect but Twitch can take quite the beating for the damage that she can deal, making her very lethal in just about every single battle she comes across. With such a high damage output of the F2, it doesn't come without its consequences, and that is a large amount of recoil. To compensate for that, you can fire in bursts, or learn to adapt to the upward trajectory of the gun as you hold down the trigger. And finally, remember to always check your corners, and that shouldn't be taken so much. Everyone has different playstyles and different techniques and different tactics. I just wanted to share some of mine to help you better understand how to use Twitch. And with that, go out and create your own tactics, your own techniques, and your own playstyles to help find your way to play her and to kick the enemy's ass in the end.